Welcome to this week's midweek message. It's a half term for some of us and not for others. So I hope that whatever you're doing, whether you're playing or working this week, that this week is going well for you. As lots of us will know, this coming Sunday is our gift day here at St Michael's. Gift day is an opportunity for us all to look at how much we give to the church and to think and pray about whether we'd like to start giving or review how much that we give. We have two gift days per year and this one that's happening this week is for the church's ministry and mission. Uh, So that's all the stuff that we do that helps people get to know Jesus better, to love him more or perhaps to meet him for the first time. I wonder how you feel when it comes around to gift day. Are you thinking, oh no, not again? Or does it make you feel awkward because no one, quite frankly, likes talking about money, especially when things are tight uh, and there are already far far too many demands on our money? Or maybe you relish the opportunity to review your giving and this is an exciting time for you. But I wonder if we find this difficult, I wonder if we could just reframe our thinking a little bit. What if we see gift day as an opportunity for us? Why don't we use it as an opportunity to look at the gifts that we have been given? What resources, yes, money, but also time, uh, energy, talents, homes, food and so on. What gifts have we already been given? What if we are on the receiving end of gift day? Maybe that's how we can think about it. Just a chance to see how much we've been given. To ask ourselves, what is it that God has already given me? And as we think about that, then maybe we can pray about how best to use those gifts and then use them for God's glory. And one of those ways might well be giving to our church, investing in work that helps us learn and grow together, serve together and share Jesus together. It's a challenge to all of us, isn't it? Whether we have lots of resources or very few. And as we think and pray about how best to use our money, let's remember what it says in 1 Chronicles 29, verse 14, as David is praying. But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you and we have given you only what comes from your hand. All that we've got, and that's everything, has been given to us by God in the first place. All good things come from him. We've already been given so much, so let's think about gift day in those terms and think and pray about how best to use what we've been given. And please do go to the website if you would like to find out more. Have a good week and see you over the weekend and on gift day itself, if not before.